Moses used to be upon him. He split the sea, he did incredible things. He threw a stick, it became a snake. He defeated, yeah. you know, all these incredible yeah. things. Um, in the end, I don't mind, like, I don't really mind um, the Muslim saying that he got killed on God. Yeah. Because in the end, because in the end it's, it's, there's no disrespect to, God, um, to Jesus. Mm. Just, 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 the, the message, you believe it's still teaching the same message. The same message is still taught. Or is it just, you don't yeah, believe, you to don't some believe, extent. You just, don't, you just don't believe that. Yeah. So if I may, like uh, the whole point of the Quran, like the only reason we have it, period, is for the exact same reason that Jesus came, peace be upon him, and delivered, and like he had the New Testament, like, he had the Gospel, the Injil, the Gospel. Yeah. It's exactly the same reason, is that people weren't following the message that came before it properly or adequately, right? Either some things yeah, were yeah. mixed up or changed or misunderstood, yeah, misinterpreted. That's a lot. Yeah, actually, there were a fair few like that. In fact, uh, I would wager there's a few in our day and age that uh, that responds to as well. I think the main problem is probably, probably, probably America, <laughs> and this country probably not, not far behind. Yeah. So the Quran actually says something that there's uh, the only time God has wiped out a population with a big bang is when it was beyond redemption, yeah, basically. Yeah, yeah. Um, I. This is, I'm paraphrasing, this is not like an actual verse, but I know I've read that, like, there's a verse in there that says essentially that. So when you think of things like Nagasaki, Hiroshima, Chernobyl, these are all nations that were wiped off the face of the planet with a big bang. God still has these powers, right? He yeah, can yeah. get rid of anyone he wants at any time. Pompeii is another example. Um, they even found people in Pompeii, two men cuddling, unlike being fossilized in ash, basically. That, that, that was found in Pompeii. And we don't know anything about these civilizations. We don't, especially like me personally, I don't know much besides London, right? Yeah. But God is still acting. God is respons uh, responsive. So when there is a deviation in faith, for example, some people are saying to worship Jesus. Some people are saying not to worship Jesus. Some people are saying that he died on the cross. Some people are saying he did not die on the cross. God would be cruel to just let them be wrong, yeah. right? I think in the, te the, te the teaching itself says pretty much, Jesus said to worship like use him as a medium, so you, if you pray to Jesus, even though you pray to, like, mm. to worship Jesus, yeah. it's like a medium to worship, to, to, to worship God. Yeah, so that's what they say. That he's, he's part of God, isn't he? The son of God. So what, 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 I'll, what I'll say is that if there is a God that can do whatever he wants, controls the whole universe, owns everything, owns our literal souls, gives us every breath that we use to breathe, right? Why would he need anything? Why would he need an intermediate? Literally, if you make a prayer right now, you can talk directly to God. Why does he need an intermediate? Why take the middle, man? God doesn't need anything. I mean, I mean, myself, my, my I don't actually pray to Jesus. I pray to, straight to God because Good. I believe, because I believe myself is like, I thought mm. to myself, like, why would, why would I want to, why would I want to, yeah, to, like, yeah, it's, it's, it's to, pointless. Yeah, same way, like, praying to, like, you believe praying to Mary, pray to Mary as well. I don't do that personally. Yeah. I believe that like, even when I do pray to God, it's not, I don't ask for anything in, like selfish, mm. I, I do it for the I do it for the sake of giving giving thanks 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 to God for what I have. I never ask yeah. anything directly, and but you, I just I just want to I pray because I want to. Yeah, I want no, it's to good. Give, I want to give thanks, thanks to God. It's good. You I should. Yeah, it's it's a really good yeah, good kind it's good sign of character. That's the only reason why I actually pray. I don't pray for selfish, it's brilliant. Selfish or any, selfish or anything. So, so I, believe, I believe if you want anything, yeah, God God will God will give you everything that you need mm -hmm. to do stuff. Because I believe I believe um. God only helps those that help themselves. Mm. So that's why I believe I believe I, sh I should not ask, pray to, to ask God for anything. Yeah. Just pray to, to ask for thanks. For thanks. And that, Bro, that alone. I like you, man. Like literally, everything you said today is something any Muslim should would say. Every Muslim, anyone who is a true believer of God, should say these things. You shouldn't be you shouldn't be praying for selfish things. You shouldn't be praying for like bad things to happen to people. Yeah. It's you should be praying because God made you and God loves you, and you should reciprocate that. And he wants you to, you know. Um, I'm a, well, to be honest, I do like try and keep up with like a lot of other religions because I think some there's some somewhere like there's many religions here, but yeah. I feel like it, it all it all it all comes comes together in some sort of way. Mm. Yeah. So there's actually um, so in Islam, uh, the Quran it says that every single nation has been given the message before. So and it's the same message. It's that there's one God and that you should obey His moral system. Yeah, yeah. You know, I'll be the messenger that is telling you, right? And that same message has come to the whole world. Like every single nation has had it, right? And we live in a nation, we live in a society now where all the countries are, in, are interconnected. There's trade routes, and now there's the internet, so they're even more interconnected. 
So trade, I think trade routes actually been have been around before even before yeah even before Jesus himself came down the board trade yeah yeah, yeah. so like so it, honestly if, so with that it, to me it makes more sense that there's less prophets everywhere which said you know and in the Bible there are situations where there's multiple prophets yeah. in, in one the, time I think in the Bible there's, um, there's, there's, uh, 12 disciples. You got the t- they're the disciples, yeah. And they, and they themselves off after when Jesus was resurrected. Yeah. Yeah. And they split and mm-hmm. they went the separate ways and spread across, across the world to spread the word of God. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> and as well, you had, um, for example, I, I believe Lot and Abraham, peace be upon them, were around at the same time as well because the, the, um, the, the people that went to visit Abraham and told him, of a, told him that he would be having a child. They went afterwards to go to Lot, if I'm not mistaken, peace be upon him, um, and told him that his nation was going to, you know, be destroyed, and he and his family needed to leave. So, that, you know, this does happen. Um, but I guess my point is that there is so much with the Bible that just doesn't fit with what Christianity should be, with what believing should be. For example, and the proof of that is that people can't decide on what the right way is. Like, for example, you said a lot of people from your background, they worship Mary or they worship Jesus. Well, it's, 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 in my family, it's very weird. So, like, my grandmother, yeah. for example, she would tell me, obviously, remember to pray to Jesus, to yeah. pray to Mary. Yeah. So, pray to I, Mary, I, I, yeah. But I pray straight to God. I pray straight to God. Yeah. So, my, there's a difference. My, you see what I mean? My, my mom's getting, getting really getting into it because she's not, she doesn't really read the Bible, uh-huh. but she, she's doing a lot of history mm-hmm. and it links with things that are said in the Bible. Because these holy books are technically also, yeah. they're also history books. Yeah. At the same time. Yeah, definitely. I think you should read. And so the, the stuff, and the stuff that are actually are cross connecting with each mm. other as well. Did you know there's a conversation in the Quran that Jesus has specifically with Allah, God, um, the Lord of the, the universe, the Creator? Mm-hmm. There is a conversation that he has with Allah um, on Judgment Day. This is the first thing Allah will do when He talks to Jesus. Peace be upon Him. He will say, "Jesus, um, did you tell?" Uh, I'm trying to remember the verse. Did you tell your people to worship you or your mother? And Jesus replies with such an emotional response. It's, so, it's, it's genuinely such a heartfelt response. You can Google it. There's actually like a few people have like, uh, like have videos up about it. And it's such a heartfelt response. It's saying, God, don't, why would you say, why would you insinuate such things about me? Like I worshiped you with everything I had. And if I had ever deviated, you would know it. And you know that I didn't do that. And that's literally the first conversation we see. Like, Jesus gets so emotional when he, people are even suggesting that they, he should be mush, worshipped. And this is, you know, this is, this is Jesus. <laughs> this is a person that, peace be upon him, was such an incredible person for the world. He brought so much good. He, he was born from a woman that did not have a man to have this baby. He was born from a virgin, Mary, peace be upon him. And Mary does have a chapter to herself. I believe this is in that chapter, actually. A chapter named after her in the Quran, um, and so yeah, it's 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 a very serious thing. And while a lot of religions are very similar, that doesn't mean that they're all correct and that they're all okay. The Quran makes it very clear that the only acceptable religion is Islam, which means submission to only one God, submission to God, and following His messengers. So if there's any religion that does not do that or teaches something opposite to that, God can never be okay with it, even if it seems similar. He will never be okay with it. So, yeah, I definitely recommend you look into it more. Like I said, I'm only here because I did my own research. And when I did that research, I looked into what others were saying as well. I looked into other analyses. And I, I'm using the brain God gave me, right? Yeah, yeah. Which we all should do. Um, if you want to know some more, like we literally have free Qurans. We have like free information packs if you want to take any. Uh, it's good to read regardless. Um, if I'm at ask, where are you from, bro? What area? Like, uh, yeah, yeah, like what's your ethnicity? Um, Jamaican. Oh, okay, because you, you look a little bit like some of my like I'm Saint Lucian, so <laughs> I got yeah I got similar brow in some of my family, but um, yeah, I think I'm, my mom's side is Saint Lucian. But my dad, hey, my can dad, we go? Yeah, but my dad's, <laughs> my, my dad's side is Jamaican. Yeah, yeah. yeah. And then I got, but my dad's also Asian as well. Okay, yeah, nice, nice, nice mix. I got uh, I'm half Saint Lucian, quarter Egyptian, quarter English. Yeah, I. I just say my mum's from West London, my dad's from East London. <laughs> I'm English, that's the way it's Hey, English, English, English. you know. Um, but yeah, no, bro, if you want to take anything, we literally, like, I can give you a bag, literally it has nah, everything I'm in it for free. Nah, it's I'm literally not, free. Because nah, nah, I, I got so much stuff already. <laughs> it's just why, the problem is that I get a lot of stuff, I don't have time to read all of it. 
Oh, in, you know, if you die, which, which of the things that you're reading matters? That's the question. <laughs> when you well, die, does it really matter, you know? If it, if it, if, 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 if there's a point, if it, if there's a, you know, it's internet anyway, but if there's a real point, yeah, that, obviously, I've, yeah. I, I feel like I have, I feel like I'm lost and I have to read, read something. Oh, yeah. when do you know when you're lost? Hmm? When do you know if you're lost? I just gave you so much new information, you have no idea, uh, how does that make you feel? You know, like, uh, yeah. No, no, it's good to hear, it's good to hear. But I feel like, because obviously, some, so it's like, the, even though it's like, the rest of it's like similar. Yeah. It's also similar, but I don't, the reason I don't think, I don't, obviously, you've gone, obviously, as far as you've gone in it, because of reading and... Yeah, it took a while for me to, to know what I know, right? Um, but I think, because I've not had people speak about in my vision coming in, I've heard a lot of the word, word again. I've heard that word being used a lot. Yeah, which I don't understand. I don't understand the evil. <laughs> I don't understand the evil, innit? Yeah. I believe that if you do everything right the first time, yeah. Yeah. If you go in the right direction. Yeah, it's my friends here. Yeah, I feel like I'm going in, I'm going in the right direction. God, God's not. Like sometimes people, the stories are people. Yeah. People getting like um, a message from God. Yeah. That that pretty much tells them pretty, pretty much him coming to you and telling you. Yeah. You're going in the wrong direction. Mm -hmm. So I've not, I've not had such a. I've not myself. I've not felt such mm -hmm. anything as such. Okay. So I think I'm where I'm going. What I'm doing right now, in like especially in life, I feel like I'm going in the right direction. I feel like I'm okay. not doing anything bad. I feel like God. If I, if I might then, yeah. so whenever we Muslims pray, you know we pray many times a day, five times a day minimum, yeah, yeah. is what we should be shooting for, and that's what we'll, um, the best of us we do. Um, there is a line that we say, or there's actually, so seven verses, which, and they, it, sorry, there is um, a chapter from the Quran that we say every time we, you know, we go up and down. Every time we are up, we say this one chapter from the Quran. And it's, it basically mirrors the Lord's Prayer. It's like a more detailed version of the Lord's Prayer that's in the, the Bible. Um, it's very, very, very similar if you compare them. But one of the, word, one of the verses is, guide us, guide us to the straight path. And we say that every single time we go up in prayer, which is 17 times a day. So if we are making this heartfelt prayer, we're putting our whole time, our body, our soul into every, all of our actions, and we're asking God, the one creator of the universe that you believe in, to guide us to the straight path and we're only getting more and more sure of ourselves like I'm only here because I know for a fact that this is the best way for anyone to guarantee they have a good afterlife and I want that for my fellow people right I, I don't want to see people hurt right yeah. um, but that's what we pray for continuously day in day out and the fact that Islam is the fastest growing religion as well like there are so many signs for me that su suggest that you know if God was going to mislead people by Islam it would be a bad way to do it because we're literally asking him to lead us the right way. And no Muslim, like you don't see torrents of Muslims going into any other religion. No, they're Muslims and they're getting stronger in Islam. So I, this is all stuff for you to consider. Like I said, we're here every Saturday giving away free Qurans, free information. If you want to take any one of these just for the sake of it being smaller to read. Um, right. Yeah. What's your name, bro? Ryan. Roy. Ryan. Oh, Ryan. Ryan. Yeah, yeah. Nice to meet you, my guy. I'm Tarek, yeah? yeah GG's, yeah. man. Alright, I'll leave you to it, yeah? Yeah, yeah? Hope you get home safe, yeah? And yeah, see you around.